our stuff, like our pollock and haddock or whatever we had for ground fish, we hung on the clothesline, salted well, and had uh, salt fish dinners. And, you know, it would keep all year. Uh, it was a great snack to have in your pocket. It was, you know, it was, it, it was the candy. Uh, not the candy, but it was that, I suppose it was similar to beef jerky, only on, we had fish. So you'd have smoked or, or uh, dried salmon and you know because we'd get them in the wear which apparently was illegal at the time but as long as a kid got it they couldn't charge the kid so they'd hang us over the side and we'd get the we'd gaff the salmon and we'd bring it in and we'd we'd um you know uh dry it or smoke it or whatever and then but as far as the pollock everybody had the pollock on their line their haddock on their line and they would they would salt it and have it that way the island made fortunes, millions of dollars of, of smoked herring went down to the Barbados and Bahamas and we have a series of sheds that they said smoke sheds and they said that was a uh, industry that was from England but as far as I know they've always, my grandmother said the natives always smoked their fish because it, it kept it for them and dried and smoked it so they always had, uh, like we didn't have teepees here we had uh, more like huts and longhouses and there was always a fire going and there was always a smoking air, a smoke area. There was always something either being colored with the color of smoke or being preserved with the smoke. So um, there, it wasn't, uh, you know, but it, it wasn't recognized. After the loyalists here, basically loyalists is all you hear about here. And yet this place was Pascatomacati, Passamaquoddy. It was um, New England, New France, uh, Massachusetts, Nova Scotia, you name it. This island here had, it changes, every bunch of people that came in changed it to a different name and everybody that wrote about it wrote it as if it was belonged to them. And so the things you find, like I found p things about my people being in Nova Scotia and they were, they were in uh, uh, Mahone Bay and, and Indian uh, Point, I believe it was in Nova Scotia, but they were also here because, and at one time this was known as Nova Scotia. And the family owned the, on the Swigger side of my family, they uh, basically had land from Castelia from the shoreline clear back to the, well, what we call the deer farm there. And it was just, it, you know, it was just one family, but they considered themselves Nova Scotians. So now when you, you said a particular type of smoked fish was like candy, which type was that? Oh, that was usually salmon. Salmon or, um, it's, it's according to what they smoked it with. If they smoked it with uh, different types of alder and or, or uh, different types of maple, I don't know, it, I'm not sure exactly how it was done, but they had different flavors with the different type of stuff they used for smoke. And I know my grandfather was what they call a smoke tender and he used to always make sure that he had certain smoke sheds going with a certain mix of, of apple wood or, you know, to get a certain, especially if it was something that somebody ordered special and they would say, can I get this type of herring done? Or, or you know, everybody was known for their mixes of And did, did smoke you flavors. mix that with anything like berries or any other edible substance or is it straight salmon? Um, I believe it was straight salmon. Um, I know that I know that there was a type of pemmican made, but that was usually made from the blueberries that they so they strung blueberries, and that made them dry out faster, I guess, and then it made them be able to be made into a powder. Uh, there's raspberries, blackberries, uh, oh, I don't know what they're called, Saskatoon berries or something, but there's high bush cranberries here. There's low bush cranberries. I don't think they're natural here, but I do think the high bush are. There's just an abundance of, of rose hips and, you know, everything, choke cherries. Everybody was, it was a land of plenty.